EPF's assets are not affected by the ringgit's weak performance because they are diversified, its CEO Ahmad Sokarnain on said. Sokarnain said EPF's portfolios are spread across the board. He also said EPF's investment is guided by principles of long-term investments and temporary changes in the market have no significant impact. On February 20th, the ringgit fell 0.2% to 4.7965 against the US dollar, reaching its weakest level since the Asian financial crisis. Separately, Zulkar Nain said the government's proposal to abolish the pension scheme for new civil servants will not affect EPF's asset allocation. He said the government expects to recruit about 30,000 civil servants a year, but this number will have little impact on EPF's present 16 million members.